G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I'm taking a look at a YouTuber called Mr. Gaming Guitarist, um, and he's put together a video called I'm 27 and Never Had a Girlfriend. Now I thought this is um, this is a bit of different content that I don't normally cover on this channel, but I, think, I do think it sort of fits into the theme of what I talk about, and that's men's experiences in life and with women and relationships. Uh, I know there are a lot of men out there um, who don't have good luck with women or, or have been unfortunate enough to be friend zone and go through a really hard time and, and dealing with those sort of emotions or the ups and downs that come with that when there is unrequited love. And I have watched this uh, a little of the way through guys and this is a tale of unrequited love. Hi everyone, I've got no idea if you can hear me or not because I haven't recorded a, vi recorded a video in a very long time. But, um, I'm Mr. Gaming Guitarist, of course you already know that, because the only people that watch my videos now are people that have always been watching me, not that that's a complaint or anything, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, let me get to a parking spot, here we are, a place of a light, a street light, that's not good. Okay, here we go. Alright. So, um, I never know what I'm going to say whenever I make a video now. I just press record and let all of my thoughts out. That's uh, me and you both, brother. That's exactly what I do, guys. Um, I freestyle every single video I do. There's no editing. As you can see, none of my videos are edited. Uh, it's all one take. So, the last few months have been difficult. I mean, fuck, my whole life has been difficult, but you, you already know that. Um, the one thing that I wanted to talk about today, and it's been, it's really, really, really been bothering me. I have mentioned this a few times in the past and I have, you know, I don't care if this sounds embarrassing or not because at this point I life has kicked me in the ass so many times I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, uh, but I'll just say it. I think uh, maybe I've said this before, maybe I haven't. But anyways, <clears throat> Though it's going to sound it's probably not very fucking obvious just by looking at me, but I'm 27 years old, never kissed a girl on the lips before, which of course means I'm a fucking virgin, which of course means I've never had a girlfriend before, never dated anyone before, and um, it fucking kills me. I'm not going to lie. It does kill me a lot. It hurts me a lot on the inside because it feels like every single day I see couples that are my age. I want to say something. I'm going to interject here. I want to let him talk because obviously he's blogging, or vlogging it, and letting his innermost thoughts out. But what I've noticed about guys like this, guys who um, have, might not have had a success with women um, or... or put themselves out there or for whatever reason, right? They, they haven't had girlfriends, kiss girls. They're shy, timid, um, ugly, whatever it may be, right? Is that they think that their life revolves around, because it's something that you haven't had, right? You think your, revol your life revolves around, it'll be better for having women in your life. And yes, a good woman in your life can make your life a lot more fulfilling and a lot better. But as I talk about on this channel, as many other channels talk about guys, uh, the social contract and what's been promised to young men who idolize women and the idea and the fantasy of kissing a girl and and having serious relationships with women, you know, that it's going to elevate them and they're going to live in um, heaven, you know, they're going to live in a dream. That's not reality. So while he's on one end of the scale, there's 
at this exact time that this guy creates this video, this is a little bit of an older video. It's like two years old. I've just come across it. Um, there's another guy who's sitting in his car, probably thinking about necking himself because he's been married or whatever. And the wife's dropped the other foot on him and wants a divorce and is just destroying his life. So you get these guys on either side of the spectrum who are both very unhappy. What's the common denominator? Women. Every guy I know that has had a big problem in their life, me included, it's all been due to women or circumstances arising from involvement with women. So I think that's the fairy tale. A lot of guys, a lot of these lonely sort of guys, and he, maybe he's a black pill dude, um, or it's a very shy, no confidence in himself. These sort of guys need to know too is it's not necessarily a bad thing to not have a woman in your life. Now, you can say, well, gee, man, you've had women and all that, and you know, you're know you not one to say that. But I, I have lived through some of the darkest days as a man and what a man will ever go through because of a woman and because of women and have seen other guys go through the most really heartbreaking situations because of that, because they thought that a woman was going to make their life perfect. They signed the contract. They sacrificed. They gave, gave, gave. And the women take, take, take. So I know I'm ranting on a little bit because this is what I, these guys just don't know how bad things can get if you get involved with the wrong woman. And a lot of these guys are the kind of guy who might get a girl interested in them. The first girl who gives him any slight bit of interest, he marries him, moves in, shacks up, goes all in like after two weeks or something like that. Then ends up two years later like my friend Larry. Or even me. I was only married for two years. Life was wrecked for like four or five years until I got back on my feet. Biggest setback I've ever had in my life. And at this point, you know, once, you know, the average American turns 27 years old, they should have at the very fucking least have had at least one fucking kiss on the lips with a with a with a with a girl they like it doesn't make any goddamn sense because this one thing feels like it's ho it's holding me back in life cuz it makes me feel a lot lesser than other people and I know I've made videos in the past uh, talking about my experience with major depressive disorder and I have no doubt that these feelings of feeling lesser than everyone else for never ever, you know, for never having kissed a girl on the lips or for being... There are many, there are many men out there just like him. Um, I actually, I know guys like this or, or guys that might have only had one woman or one girlfriend who've been destroyed because... That one opportunity they had, they thought to get a girl and they locked her down and then she's cut and run them and wrecked them. Probably worse off than this dude not, not ever having a girlfriend. But I know guys like this in my circle. So I can empathize with this guy uh, being you know a timid guy, maybe not the best fashion sense. I'm not going to pull him apart. Obviously, he's not looking after himself that well. And unfortunately, women are very visual creatures, like just like men. You know, It's a myth that women don't like looks and all of that. Um, uh, you need to be... Look, it's harsh. You need to be at your best if you want to expect to, to interact with women. Being a fucking virgin at 27 years old, it all of this stuff, um, it could be a factor of the depression. Pretty sure it is. But nonetheless, it still makes me feel like complete shit. And there are times in the past, and believe me, this is not for lack of trying, because I have been able to get different girls' phone numbers. You know, I've gotten at least fucking 10 or 20 different phone numbers where I see a pretty girl when I'm out in public, and then I just talk to her, say, hi, my name's Jaren, how are you? And then, you know, have a good conversation. And then I try, and then, you know, I, we, and then, you know, we exchange phone numbers and then that's the last I ever hear from them. And if there's one thing 
that I can ask to the public, and I seriously doubt that I don't know if there's any women at all that watch my my YouTube videos. I highly doubt it, but because um, it's like my face just kind of looks like repellent for pretty girls. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I feel bad for this guy. Obviously, his mental health isn't very good. He has no self confidence. He's very downtrodden. He's depressive. He seems very, uh, yeah, sad and very look. Uh, without coming across like a jerk, uh, a weak, um, subservient kind of guy. Like, I, no woman's going to really be attracted to that sort of demeanor. It's just not what women like. So that, coupled with not looking great, uh, it's probably given him um, the result that he's gotten and probably not putting himself out there or, or being straight up. Um, you know, it, it, it is a numbers game after all. I reckon if he went up to 500 girls, one would, one would probably have a crack. It's just a numbers game. I mean, they're not great odds, but if you want to put the work in and cop the rejection, you, know, you can eventually get one. Not saying to do that, but he made a good point around he feels less than another man and all this sort of stuff. It's really interesting, the contrast. And as I've grown older, because I remember being a young guy, my life revolved around chicks, trying to bang chicks, get chicks, hook up with hot chicks, um, uh, you know, doing all that stuff. My whole life was motivated by it. And as I've gotten older, and I guess as my testosterone's lower, I've lost a lot of interest in it. They're only very, very discerning with the women I let into my life. It is, I don't do that anymore. And I find it interesting now that I'll be very happy just to have no one. I don't care. Um, because you can see what they can do to you. And, and as a young man, you don't think that those things happen. We always think that women are all sugar, spice, and all things nice. As I always say, they're not. They are just as bad as men, if not worse. I would say um, far less honourable than men. But men think they're going to get this. Oh, I used to think it. You get this girl, you marry her, and she's like this little princess, and she can do no wrong. And you, you're the man, and you look after her, and uh, just like something out of the movies. The way you know we're all trained and indoctrinated. But as I've gotten older and I've had a lot of experience with women, dating, married, divorced, uh, post-divorce dating, and girlfriends, and all that sort of stuff. It's not to realize that it's not really worth it. Not many of them are worth that effort, time, um, and disruption to your peace and life as you once would put up with. A lot of young men make life decisions just for a chick, you know, like moving across the bloody world or something or not going to a certain school or not following a certain dream because a girl doesn't approve of it. And they want to dedicate and um, declare their love for the woman and they'll just do stupid things. But as you get older, guys, there might be some of you younger guys there in your 20s who don't have girlfriends or, and all that. It isn't all it's cut out to be. I'm not saying they're bad. They're, you can get some great women. Very bloody rare. I've only ever met a real couple of good women in my life. If I can really say, hand on heart, the amount of women I've been through, two or three, two or three would classify to me as keepers. Like someone that I'll be happy to have in my life and, and maybe do those traditional things for. Two out of three out of who fucking knows how many. And that's not a brag, guys. It's actually it's actually pretty sad when you think about it in that context. Anyway, let this guy keep talking. I don't know why, but uh, just based on my experience, that's what it feels like because... And I got the perfect example. Um... <clears throat> So I was at a bar, and one of these girls whose phone numbers I did get, I saw her again for a second time, and I didn't know she was going to be there. And you know, I w all I did to all I did was I walked is you know walked up to her, said, "Hey, good to see you again. I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye bye." You know, as simple as that. And yet, that one sentence alone got me kicked out of a bar fucking people these days right all i did that it is probably came up on the creep radar uh, you know it's a meme now in the manosphere i would say uh, you've come up on the creep radar you you don't know that you come across that way and if a woman doesn't want you around them they're going to go and just do what they can to get you away they'll have white knight guys who might take you out and knock you out or push you out of the bar and he showed the security got him chucked out because he might have come across um 
you know, like a mass shooter or something. All I said. And then she goes to the bouncer and go, says bouncer. something to him. And then bouncer comes up to me, says, you need to get the fuck out of here right now. And I up. said, what did I do? And then I said, you're harassing her. Harassing her for saying fucking hello? Hope you, uh, good to see you again. Hope you have a nice day. Is that, are you, see, that this happened in what, when, this happened in 2019, and yet the fact that I can still recall it vividly in my brain tells you a lot about how much of a fucked up brain I have. But anyways, that really stood out to me. Oh, <laughs> and then I and then here comes the second part to that fucking story. This other guy that she that I guess she was with, I didn't see him speak with her or whatever. But some guy fucking he's fucking shoving me he's shoving me and then he says leave her alone oh so he's spot on i said secure i haven't watched this i have not watched this yeah so you got white knights trying to protect her from this guy who probably comes across as creepy that's the reality of it not bagging him he's not helping himself out especially maybe acting like this and um, if he's getting worked up and acting very effeminate and unhinged as well um yeah I said was one fucking sentence <laughs> and then he's and pretty i just snapped all right and i and this is what i said i said you know what the difference is between guys like you and guys like me guys like me will treat her like a human being and guys like you will treat her like a disposable uh, fuck me disposable pleasures i don't know why that's it the human fleshlight that's true yeah he couldn't be more right but women don't want the guy. No one wants someone who's going to simp after him. Even guys, think about it. If you've had girls that have been chasing you around that you're not interested in, it's the same thing as if they get these guys who will lay down their life for a woman and uh, give them everything they want and be all soft and, you know, squishy like this dude. Women aren't attracted to that. I've tried that approach before. When I was younger, sure. Didn't work out very well. And I learned very bloody quickly to not try and be a fake nice guy. My tongue got started getting twisted trying to recall that last thing. And if I did have a mic at that moment, I would have fucking dropped it right then and there. Because that's the only moment where I felt like I got something over a fucking bully. <clears throat> but... Anyway... that So that's one story I have... That stick. So guys, about halfway through, it might be a bit of a longer one. I'm not going to watch him all the way through or listen to his next story, um, and then I'll cut it there. So about halfway through, um, if you are enjoying my content, please sub. Aim me for 10K subs, um, and really would love, love for you to be part of the growth journey. And the best way to support me, watch the videos through, like, comment, um, put your experiences in, share notes with the other boys in the comments and the regulars. Be a part of it. And if you do want to be a patron, check out my Patreon link in the description. But no pressure on that. Sticks out to me. Here's another one that sticks out to me. Um, so I... Uh, there was this girl that I met and... Damn it, Jaron, keep it together. Friend, stone, fr friend zone story, I think. Because I did skip through it a little bit, but I haven't watched the whole thing, guys. She was the first girl that I thought I had a chance with. Because for the first time, it felt like I met a girl that gave a fuck about me just as much as I gave a fuck about her. We had a lot of things in common. Loved all the same classic rock music, which was rare, you know, for a pretty girl that was close to my age that doesn't fucking happen um 
Self-limiting beliefs, man. This guy is just negative towards himself. He doesn't like himself. He's self, self-loathing. So you're putting that energy out into the world. I believe in energy and people picking up on it. If you're putting that energy out into the world, you're not going to get a good result back if you don't love and care about yourself. I know that sounds a very... That's what women say, right? But as men too, you've got to have a self-esteem, confidence. So it's the same thing. If you're not a confident in yourself, a woman's not going to be confident in you. But anyways... She told me, and don't worry, I'll make myself get through this because uh, this has been stuck inside my head for a very long time. And if you're seeing a bunch of flashing lights, it's because I'm parked at a movie theater uh, where they have a giant screen. So please forgive me for that. <clears throat> but anyways, um, it felt like God damn it, now I'm losing my train of thought. Anyways, so she had a boyfriend. Oh, dude. And I got along great with him, you know. But, and I knew she had a boyfriend. But, this is my fatal mistake. Because I never told her that I cared about her. Or, or that I had feelings for, that I liked her, you know. However you're supposed to tell a woman you like her because I've ne I never fucking did it before, before her, you know. Uh, so I... Um, and I remember this was while I was homeless and I just got denied, my application got denied for an apartment. And once that happened, I called her. I called her. She was the first person I called. And I was fucking crying because, you know, I thought I wasn't going to be homeless anymore at that time. This was in May of, uh, or May or early June of 2021. Things not to do, guys. I don't know. People say, I know it's hard not to be emotional as a man. Sometimes you do have things built up. But crying to women, no matter what. Don't, please don't do that. Uh, I've never cried in front of a woman. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm much of a crier, but when I have in the past opened up and been somewhat vulnerable, whether it be stress at work or you're stressed about something in life, you know, whatever it is, the economy, whatever it might be, they, their eyes glaze over. They don't want to know about it. They want a guy who's in control. And so this guy here, um, he's being the fake nice guy. So he thought he was going to weasel in with a girl by being the friend while she had a boyfriend. So I really... I, I, I sort of teed off on these guys and of another video I made a couple of weeks ago about fake nice guys are cowards. This is a sort of the, I'm not calling this guy a coward. I'm saying he thought it was a good strategy to be the fake nice guy, to get in there. Um, whether he's fake or not, he, there's, there's a different intention. He didn't want to just be friends with her. He wanted more. She had a boyfriend. He was snaking around. He was a snake in the grass, hoping that if that fucked up, and then um, she would see just how great of a guy he was. He's been there for her. He'll be the shoulder for her to cry on. And then they'll get together and she'll be like, wow, I'll be like a rom-com, right? That isn't how women work. And I thought that, uh, you know, because she was a uh, best, she was a, uh, the, the, the time she was quickly turning into a best friend. And she told me, that she said I love you to her boyfriend and at the time he didn't say it back but I love you man. and so she was contemplating questioning her relationship with him and me like the fucking idiot that I am <laughs> told her I liked her I'm not laughing at his situation. I'm just laughing about how self-deprecating he is. And then she said that classic fucking line that every fucking character that looks like me goes through in a goddamn movie. She said, I love you, but not like that. 
and uh, it fu that fucking broke me. So guys, this is a warning. I know a lot of guys have gone through this or might be going through it. So I'm not having a crack at you. I've done this. I've been in the friend zone. I wouldn't say I was ever quite like this guy, but I really liked a girl when I was quite a bit younger and I hung around and floated around while she was out banging other guys. And then one day I did a very similar thing. I told her how much I liked her. You know, I declared my feelings for her thinking that, you know, because I've been watching too many movies, been watching too many stupid movies. Thinking that, you know, if you declare it, then she's going to, wow, if you say you love her, then she's going to love you back. And it's going to be this, like, electric moment and the two worlds are going to collide and, you know, off off into the sunset together. That's not how it works. It's like, have you, I'm not sure if you guys have ever experienced it. I have. Have women telling me they love me or do anything for me and all this sort of stuff when I wasn't interested in them. And it is a very off-putting thing. Um, it's, I think it's, I don't know why I felt that way. So I can understand how women do feel when they get these guys, orbiters and stuff doing that. It's a huge turn off, but he thought he was going to say, I love you too. And then the world, the guy's world comes crashing down. Poor bastard. Like he's learning, but this is what happens when guys don't have strong uh, masculine role models in their life to teach them shit from when they're boys. He's, just, he's probably been raised by a mother, a single mother or whatever on his own. Any man with a strong father figure in his life uh, wouldn't be acting like this. You know, it's a man, a father who's happy to sit his son down and say, hey, this is, you know, this is the score. This is how it goes. This is what to do, what not to do. He wouldn't be acting this way. We all fuck up. But 27 or close to 30, and this is like teenage stuff. And I'm not criticizing him, but I'm just saying if he would have had a stronger role model, he probably would have found himself in that boat. So I hope he does watch men's channels and starts to learn a bit more and get a bit more confidence in himself and really know what he did that, you know, not to do it again. So I'm not, I'm not criticizing this guy. Like everyone's been through shit. But it is pretty blatant when you've been through it yourself or you can see it from the sidelines. I can understand being involved or having certain emotions and they cloud your mind and you can't see it, you know. You can't see the situation you put yourself in until it all comes crashing down. So the, I do feel for this guy. He really did. Because here I was thinking everything was go was, you know, I just, I, and, you know, I should have kept that to my fucking self. Never should have fucking told her. But she said, I could already tell that you liked me. I was just wondering when would you, would you tell me and all that stuff. And, and, you know, and I was telling her, you know, I've never had a girlfriend before. I've never, I don't know how to deal with these fucking feelings, you know? And then, then after that, she said and that, you know, we, we're just going to continue to be friends. And I said, okay. And here's the thing. I was fine with that. I was perfectly fine with that, you know. And then... The boyfriend. She said, I'm going to... You know, she says, if him and me break up, you know, I'm not going to let him be the reason to stop us from being friends. So, anyways, th life went on. And then... I... What the fuck? Oh, God, I'm such a fucking idiot. I should have turned that light on from the very... Once again, self-deprecating, you know? Come on, dude. Think more highly of yourself. If you're going to say those things to yourself, don't expect other people to treat you with any more respect beginning anyways so i'm going to tell you what happens here i bet uh she's going to tell the boyfriend that he proclaimed her love and the boyfriend said fuck this dude off like any other guy would i'd say fuck him off i don't want you around this guy life went on and uh we can and uh you know things was continued as normal and continued to hang out until one day I picked her up from her job and then I took her to and and then I took her back 
to where she lived with her boyfriend. And I swear to God, not even five fucking minutes after I dropped her off, I get this long, 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 gigantic fucking novel of a text message it's from her. It's predictable. That says... <clears throat> It says, I can't be friends with you because you put my relationship in jeopardy. Of course. If, if she came and said that she had some, if I, if I was seeing a girl and it happened and she came and said, I've got some orbiter who's harassing me, but I'm continuing to have him hanging on. I'd be like, nah, fuck him off. I don't want that shit. It's very understandable. Get rid of the, uh, hey, it's harsh as it sounds. Get rid of the, the creep. Get him away from me. I don't want him. Dealing with you. And, uh, I was so fucking upset. And I've heard these days that YouTube will block your video if you say the S word now. Well, that's not true. Look, guys, I'm probably going to cut it there. I say a lot of words and they're not blocked, so... It's actually quite it's actually quite interesting when I get through the, the censorship. <laughs> but look, guys, um a bit of a different one, a little bit more serious. Um I can empathize with you guys out there who might be living that black pill life. I can't I haven't lived your life, but I can understand through my experiences with other people how um you could feel uh, about the world if you haven't had a good run with women. You're not missing out on too much. I know it's easy to say, but you're not missing out on too much. All right, guys, if you do want to watch watch the rest of his video, as I said, he's probably halfway through, but I don't want to play this whole video. Um, or I think I've, we've gotten the gist of it. Uh, so go check him out. Give him a like, sub, all that sort of stuff. If you're interested in his vlogs, he's got plenty of them. So, um, yeah, happy to always shout out the original creators of the stuff that we talk through. Go, Let's go and support smaller um, artists on YouTube. All right, guys, thank you very much. And if you have made it this far, I really appreciate your time. Thank you.